Okay, good morning guys. Uh, started working on the new engine a little bit more. Poured it over some of the newer things like this pulley seems pretty new, alternator seems pretty new. I used one of the oil filter housings from one of the good motors. Uh, and really quickly I've just kind of tack welded the oil pump nut in place. It didn't seem to need it, but just a quick tack weld. I uh, used a wire wheel, wire wheeled it off. Gave it a couple little tacks across, tried to make it even so it's balanced. Don't really think that matters, but why not? Uh, so the next step is to put the oil pan back on and start uh, putting on wiring bits. And then probably getting it inside the car. Okay, so accessory drives back on. Serpentine belt seemed pretty good. Um, getting everything kind of working up there. And so now comes time for the clutch and flywheel assembly. Uh, and one of the problems with the E46 clutches is that they're self-adjusting. You can tell they're self-adjusting when you see these little spring mechanisms. Uh, and there's a special BMW tool to reset them, and I don't have it. So I'm going to use uh, a good old trusty three-jaw puller. And I'm going to use uh, the old throttle bearing. And the idea is you press it on, press the fingers in, and then you can reset this back to the way it's supposed to be and it'll self-adjust once you start driving. Uh, it's a lot more difficult than it seems, and it's fun to do, so let's get started. Okay, so here's the first part of the setup. Uh, you put the jaws in between these bits where you can actually put your three jaw puller. I have a 32 mil here with the old throttle bearing. I've already tightened down the uh, puller all the way as far as it'll go, and now I should just be able to take a screwdriver and start eking stuff over. So let's see if I can do that. Okay, so I think I figured it out. You press down on this dude. And then you let the jaw puller loose and then it'll lock into place. The key thing here is that there's these little blocks that stop. You want to get them all the way on the stoppers. Otherwise, they come back out like that. So, I've seen some people kind of prime with the screwdriver, but really, I, I think just down here is the easiest bet. It's easier with two hands. I'm doing this with one, obviously, with the camera in the other. Uh, so do that, and then release the puller. Let's see if I can do that with just me. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. So everything is locked into place now. As you can see, uh, comparison to when we first did it, the uh, penis has been pulled back down the shaft a little bit and when I press in the clutch the first time it should auto adjust back to wherever it needs to be for this particular clutch when I pulled it off. I'm not super fond of this methodology but zero dollar clutch is zero dollar clutch. Yay!